Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A12 and today I'll show you how to enable and set up the Do Not Disturb mode. And get started, let's pull down the notification panel and look for the toggle which for me is oh, right over here, Do Not Disturb. So once you find it, what you can do is simply tap on it and this will automatically enable it with whatever the default settings are. Uh, but we can also hold it and this will take us to the settings where we can actually customize what the default settings are. So. For instance, we have turn on schedule, which will allow us to set up a schedule for it, uh, meaning that it can turn on and off at a given day of the week and the time. Uh, then we have duration. Uh, this is basically whenever you actually tap on the toggle. So it will either work until I turn it off. So if you tap on it, you will have to turn it off yourself uh, as well. Uh, we do also have the one hour option or if you want, you can add more hours. Now, right now, if you choose to tap on OK, it will always be enabled for three hours. If you tap once more on the plus, it will always be, when you tap on the toggle, enabled for four hours. So whatever you set right now, this won't be actually changeable later on when you're just tapping on a toggle. But if you choose ask every time, which is probably the best option, confirm that, and I go into the toggle itself, you will see that it brings up this window. And from here, I can choose to either until I turn it off or with the time one, I can add hours uh, whenever I want. So if I, for instance, turn it on right now for the four hours, just disable it prematurely and then tap on it again. Again, I can choose different amount of hours once more. So really nice option right here. And then we also have notifications. So we can choose what kind of notifications are visible during the not disturb mode and allow exceptions, which will allow calls and messages. Uh, there's a uh, option right here. So as you can see right now, calls have uh, have set or are set by default to be none. So we shouldn't be able to receive calls from anybody. But there is also option for repeated callers. So if someone calls us twice within a 15 minute period, this is on, they will be able to call us basically completely bypassing this option right here. Uh, now this option is good in terms of uh, emergencies, people usually spam calls, so that will allow them to actually reach you. Uh, but then sometimes some salespeople, marketing, uh, are also fairly persistent and they might trigger this as well. Um, and then below that we have messages, so the same as calls, allow calls from um, all, no one, contacts and favorites. So choose whichever one you want. And then additionally we have some kind of touch sounds and additional uh, interruption I would call it. So once you select uh, all the settings that you want to have, you can leave this and if it's set to be uh, set to be the uh, scheduled one, then you don't really need to do anything. It will turn on and off automatically. Uh, but if you want to turn it on yourself, simply tap on the toggle. And if you went with the, uh, with the option last I did for ask every time, uh, then simply right here, choose whichever option you want, turn on and voila, we have now do not disturb mode enabled. So that is how you would enable it. And to disable it, you can simply tap on it again and this will turn it off. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.